Hey everybody, guess what today is? February the 1st, I'm in zone 8B and it is time to wake up the garden. So I figured I would take you on a walk today, show you everything that I have to do, which is a lot. Um, but I think you'll, you know, kind of see my vision as we go. So let's take a walk. So one of the things that I try to do and practice here on the farm is rest. And rest for a flower farm is super important because we go so hard at it all season long outside in the elements that our bodies just need a break and so does the garden. So um, I know some people who probably farm year round, but for, for myself, I feel like it's important for me to rest and for the people that volunteer um, and help me to rest. So I make it a rule that we um, work up until Thanksgiving and then we take off the months of December and January. And let me tell you, it is so hard sometimes when we get beautiful days like today where it's you know nice and sunny and warm, it's hard not to want to go out and do something in the garden, especially when you see the mess that we've got out there because I just literally let it go. But it's important. It's important that we take that time for ourselves to rest. And um, I got a lot of like inside projects done. I was able to enjoy the holidays with my family and, you know, just kind of let it go. <laughs> so I'm going to show you it's a mess. I'm going to just say right now it's a mess after, you know, just letting it lie. We've had tons of rain this winter. We've had super, super cold weather this winter. We've had um, you know, I, I think everybody in the whole country experienced the winter storm that we had come through. So, um, but it's time. It's time to wake up the garden. It's time to start doing all the things. And I just thought, you know, it'd be fun to show you where I'm at and just show you what the plan is and where we're going from here. So behind me, you see this is actually a flower bed that is up against our house and we live in a barn dominium. If you haven't seen that video, I've done a couple about how we did that. It was actually an old barn that we converted into a house. But this front flower bed is one that I use for like overflow. So sometimes I'll have succession planted uh, zinnies in there. I've got my mint in there that I use a lot for bouquets. So I've let everything like weeds and all just everything left it you know for the winter i have tons of like little birds that come in here and eat all these seeds so i'm going to mow all that down i've got some uh, perennials in there i've got some hydrangeas and other things hiding in there so i'm going to clean that up i've actually been saving cardboard that i'm going to put down as weed barrier in here because uh i have landscape cloth under there but i think it's kind of deteriorated over the years so my plan for this year is i'm going to use that a little bit more um for cutting so I'll show you what I do in that in another video all right so there is the problem child <laughs> actually not a problem but this was where this is kind of like a multifunctional space I've used it for several different things this is what is left from the sunflower festival and yes I literally left it I was just exhausted and I've kind of tried to pick up things after the festival before we um, take off for the winter and this is as far as I got. This was a maze <laughs> and if you were part of the Sunflower Festival you um, probably saw it and went through it. It was a fun little maze. We had sunflowers and, and we had zinnias and cosmos planted in here but we had an early freeze in October like two weeks before the sunflower festival so everything died so we had to jump out here and get creative because we had already you know had the sunflower festival planned so we literally Maggie and I got out here uh, Maggie is one of my interns that had stayed and volunteered she's a, just a lifesaver I love her but we got out here and we literally built a maze I drew it out on paper I can show you a picture of that here I drew it out on paper. We laid it out. Um, we had a bunch of bamboo growing on our property. We made our own poles. <laughs> and then I just ordered a bunch of landscape cloth and we made the walls. And then the girls got out here and painted on the on the walls. And it was just cute as it could be. So it was a makeshift, fun little thing um, in, in lieu of having a flower maze. Hopefully this year we're planning better and we'll have a lot more um, things flower related for the festival. 
But anyway, so in the spring, if you came to our farm tour last year, this was the pinwheel. And I'll show you a drone shot of that here. It was so beautiful, y'all. It was another one of the things that I dreamed up because I kind of try to be creative in this area. It's just an extra little field that we have uh, coming up the driveway here. But um, it was a it was a pinwheel that I laid out and it had like cosmos and zinnias and we had that for the farm tour before we mowed it down for the maze. But anyway, so you see, I've got this area to clean up here. I'll be taking all this down, taking all the poles out. We'll come in here with the tractor and we'll till everything up. This, you guys, you're not gonna wanna miss this this year. This year, what I'm gonna do in this area is this is gonna become our annual U pick field. That's right, we're gonna go to U pick this year. I have so many people that want flowers and want the experience of cutting their own that um, I've made the decision that we're gonna go to primarily you pick this year. So that's gonna be a first for us, it's gonna be exciting. I think it's gonna relieve a lot of work off of our shoulders because normally we're doing all the cutting, we're all doing all the bunching and and you know delivering flowers and it's just, I don't know. I, this, is, this is going into my fourth season and I try to pivot every year if I see something that, that is not working or an idea that I feel like would work better. It's okay to pivot, you know, it's okay to, change plans try something you never know until you try it right so this is going to become rows of annuals and i have so many beautiful zinnias planned cosmos just sunflowers all the things that people can come and that are easy to pick and that everyone loves and they come in so many colors so i can't wait to show you how we transform this so, but the first thing is clean up all right so into the field we go Yes, we are proud members of the Florida Agritourism Association. Love that organization. It helps us to host people on our farm for our different events. So here we have the garden beds. We have five beds, 80 feet long in this area. So this is a whole row of yarrow right here that this will be the fourth year for it. It overwinters. It, in the spring, it will be like, you know, three, four feet tall. So we have, um, snapdragon in this and snapdragon in some weeds but we'll get all that cleaned up we were right in the middle of replacing all of the irrigation lines when it was time to quit so guess what instead of continuing to work we left it and I'm kind of glad we did because we had that huge freeze I mean like we don't get that cold here that often but it literally was down in the teens for three days and that is cold for Florida y'all we're not equipped for that and so I lost all of my water timers we had some busted lines so I'm glad that we didn't replace all the water lines and the irrigation because I'm sure that I would be replacing it again so that was kind of a smart move I know it looks like a mess but literally we worked up until Thanksgiving and then that was it I'm like okay we're quitting we are, we are going to be disciplined enough to just walk away from it. But you can see like over the winter, it is a mess. We have weeds that have popped up, rain that breached the rows. We got to, you know, go back in there and fix those. But it's okay because now, you know, it's, it's time to start working again. And it will only take us a few days to get out here and clean this up, replace all the irrigation. And then all the seedlings that we have growing in the grow room will pop in the ground and we'll be good to go. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, oh my gosh, you have just created yourself so much work. But you know what? You got to rest. Rest is super, super important. And it, you know, it's, it's here waiting on me and now I've got a plan and we'll jump out here and we'll do it and it will have been worth the rest. All right, moving on, we have the greenhouse. And I really didn't have anything uh, going on in the greenhouse much. This is the old marigold bed. And let's go in here and see. I closed it up because we get really super high winds out here so that's why I closed it all right so same thing going on in the greenhouse we've just kind of let the beds go we'll get in here and pull up the voluntary weeds there's some there's a few things still hanging on in here we got some status and I think the winter killed all my eucalyptus I mean it was cold y'all I've got a few 
I've got some lysianthus in, in there. So we'll get that cleaned up. And of course, all the dahlias, the cold got it. I was just trialing it this year to see if the bulbs would survive in the pots. So we have yet to dig those up to see how those did. And of course, all the tomato plants will get out of here. So just a lot of cleanup inside the greenhouse. We plowed this, um, this field under and let it go. We'll get that ready and Maggie has uh, a vegetable garden planned for that. And then of course the OG garden, which is the beds down there, just a lot of cleanup. And I've got a garden planned for early spring blooms. I say early spring, spring blooms, because we're already February 1st here. So that will be full of like cool flowers that I have um, growing in the grow room. So you see, we have our work cut out for us, but you know, it was a choice that I make to, to be able to take off a few months and enjoy the family and time and doing things inside the house. And so now it's time to get back to work. And I basically what I do is to, to make sense of it all is I'll walk out here with a pen and paper and I'll just start making lists, lists of everything that needs to be done everything that needs to be planted. I've already um, made my garden plan. I did that back in the fall because when, you know, I, I did, I say I totally rest, but I actually did um, soil block a few things for spring. You know, I just hopped out there in the flower barn and soil block some things for spring and put those under their grow lights because I knew that, you know, I would be ready to plant. So I did do that. But other than that, I didn't touch the garden. <laughs> so I drew out the garden plan in November and I knew, you know, where everything's going. I know where I'm, you know, what I'm planting. All the seeds are ordered. Everything is, you know, ready to go. And so that's what I do. I'll make a list and then we have a big whiteboard that we just start writing things on. And that way when we come in, we know, okay, this is what we're going to do today. It's kind of like a schedule. And it, you know, we just work off that and get out of the sun. It's a little bright this morning. So we just work off that list and we just start tackling things, you know, down the list one at a time. And I'm a list person. I literally work off lists for everything. It kind of drives me crazy sometimes, but you know, if I don't write it down, I forget it. I don't know. Are you like, are you guys like that? Do you work off lists? But I do. And then of course we, um, you know, after we make a list, we had a creative meeting. Um, we've got uh, my event coordinator that meets with us, Melanie. Love her. I know you guys have met her at our events. But we planned all of our events for the year. We've got all the dates out. And we're starting to book the vendors for those. Just plan all the fun things. If you don't follow me on Facebook or Instagram, it's Black Barn Blossoms. Be sure to hop over there because I uh, make all the announcements, you know, mostly on Facebook on our page. But... And then uh, on our website, blackmarblossoms.com. But we will um, post all the announcements there. And then, of course, you can join our email list on our website. And then you will be the first to find out all the fun things. But um, it, it was a great year last year. It was probably our best year yet. And I know that this year it's going to be even better. We have so many fun things planned we're going to start with our mother's day tea again and this year we, we sold out last year like immediately so this year we've decided to do um two different times so we'll have a morning session and an afternoon session and um it's going to be fun and then uh our farm tour is coming up and the farm tour is, it, I love the farm tour because it's where we invite everybody. It's a free event. Everybody can come out, see the farm in person, see, you know, what we do. We're going to have demonstrations. We're going to have workshops going on this year. And this year we've decided on the farm tour, you know, we had four farms with us last year, but we were all in different counties. And so it was kind of difficult for people to see everything in one day. So this year we've scaled back and it's just us and Bustle's Day Lily Farm, and we're in the same county. We're in Washington County, Florida. So you'll be able to, it's from nine to three, um, what is the date? Memorial Day weekend, it's that Saturday. It's on our website and it's on our Facebook page. But if you're seeing this before that time frame, be sure and plan on coming. It's a fun day. It's from nine to three and you can just farm hop from our farm to Day Lilies, uh, Fussell's Day Lily Farm, and they have all kind of things planned going on over there as well. But it's basically a day of learning and, a, and an experience to see, you know, how a flower farm works. And of course, we'll have flowers for sale. We'll have our U-Pick open, so it's, it, it's going to be a fun time too. And then 
our huge sunflower festival that we had last year was the first one. You guys, I was blown away. We had 800 people on the farm for that. We had uh, two bands, we had a concert, we had like 20 vendors, food trucks, uh, sunflowers in the, in the you know, for sale by the bunch of, it, it was so fun. But this year we have something special planned. It's gonna be even bigger. So be sure that you save the date for that. It's in October, I believe it's the 21st this year. But like, like I said, again, it's on our website. Um, and our Facebook page. So be sure and follow us there and follow us along for everything that we're gonna be doing in the garden to get prepared for all those things. So anyway, thanks for watching the video guys. I just wanted to give you a quick tour around the farm, show you all the work we have to do and the fun things that we've got planned. So be sure to follow along. I've made myself a new year's resolution that I'm going to post more videos this year. I get so busy working that I don't take time to do it. And I know it's important because a lot of you guys like to not only follow along to see what we're doing, but you're learning too. And I know that's how I learn, just by you know watching others. So I'm going to be better about posting more videos, showing you guys the processes and uh, you know all the fun things and all the work and everything. I'll try to do better about posting videos this year. Make sure, again, you're following us on our social media pages. And remember, bloom where you're planted.